Fisherman. Have you run into a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. It's the second person that's told us about the photographer, yet I haven't seen anything. We gotta go find her. Uh, so I've, I've just been grinding and, uh, and catching fish and whatnot, so... Uh, as you can see, we got quite the haul here. Um, and the other good news is we're about... There we go. Uh, we're about ready to upgrade the boat to a new hull. Let me show you. I need two cloth and two wood and $1,500. Uh, the good news is we have the two cloth and the two wood. Also have a research part we can use. Go ahead and grab this bad boy right here. Uh, what are we doing? Engines? Which one do we have now? 52 knots? 67 knots. That's a big difference. Yeah, let's put that let's put that in here. I want to be able to go fast. We need to go faster. Uh, it started getting dark on me, but I was catching fish and just kind of doing my thing. Uh, also, I think we're going to head over to uh, the tradesman and get rid of all this stuff here. Uh, I need to see if the dude at Blackstone will take that, because that looks important. So, we'll see if he'll take that one. I'm not sure he will. Let's go ahead and put our parts in for the hull upgrade. And we're going to try this bait out at some point. We'll have to go make some more, but we're going to try it out at some point for sure. Let's see. Dry dock. There. I swear there was a quick move. Not there now, though. I think it's the middle mouse button, but I think that moves it back to my inventory. And I don't want to do that. Back to my storage. All right, there we go. All parts for the new hull. Upgrade your vessel to a tier four, tier four hull and adds 15 new cargo spaces. I guess this whole thing will be uh, filled out eventually. All can sustain one additional damage. Sweet. Well, I'm going to go do some more fishing and, and try to get that. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't even mean to record right now, but here we are. You know what? While we're over here, let's go... Uh, to talk to this guy. Also, I realized that some of those fish that the uh, traveling merchant wanted us to catch. Oh, this is the workshop. No, I need a storage. Oh, my storage. There we go. But there's no storage over here. Um, that the traveling merchant wanted us to uh, catch. We can get a description. One of them's in Gale Cliffs. We gotta go find it. Enter a house carrying an ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. I knew it. I knew it. An excellent find. It demands pride of my of place in my collection okay oh i got an achievement for that uh relinquish the necklace ring necklace he sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table candle wax pooling on its corners he places the necklace carefully in the clearing and i suppose you'll be demanding uh re recompense Re i suppose you'll be demanding recompense as well he opens a crimson book and a spine crackling uh, cracking audibly selecting a page carefully he begins to read aloud the words sound muffled as though he's speaking through a thick haze ability unlocked banish fire off a blazing light that dispels enemies I guess you hear a growling crackling in your ears suddenly your vision flares and both your ears pop he closes the book we must keep searching I've been thinking more on where we might find another the reef at the Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I've already marked a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, nope, that'll do it. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Thank you, sir. Uh, unlock. Un unlock? No, undock. Uh, so there we go. We we made some the money's back. The the So that's Gale Cliffs over there. Uh, I've got some crab pots probably we need to go check in on. We need to go find this photographer, though. Uh, I'm still trying to catch fish to upgrade. i got a few more to go. I'll uh, catch back up with you a little more. What is this over here? You pull up to a wrecked, familiar-looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given you by the mayor. Except this one has a huge breach on this side. You top alongside the old wreck. Look in the cabin. Look in the cupboards and drawers. The cupboards and drawers have been completely methodically emptied. I found loose full boards. There aren't any boards left. Check the overhead. Nothing. I think we've already searched this thing. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already searched that. Still looking for the photographer. I'm guessing she's probably going to be on one of these islands over here. Let's go this way. If she's over here. Also, I picked up a, a swordfish. A sailfish. Uh, he had a bronze whaler already. Let's see if this is where the photographer is. I don't remember seeing this before. The photographer. Nice. Expedition site. Um. Um. Hello. Sorry. Uh, would you step out of the way for a moment? You're in my shot. You move to the side. A few seconds later, the photographer sighs in, ex in exasperation and mutters to herself. Uh. No, this simply won't do. What's the matter? The angle of this lens is all wrong. I'll never get a close-up shot of anything with this. And the others, I fear they were lost uh. overboard. She sighs and looks off to the west. I was sailing from Stellar Basin, you see, squeezing my boat through a narrow gap between two islands, and then I crashed into some coral. Coral. I thought I heard something in the water behind me, so I dared not stop. If you were able to retrieve the lenses for me, ah, let me see. Mm -hmm. She rummages through what, what few belongings survived mm -hmm. the trip. I have a spare camera here that I won't need. You're welcome to it if you can find those lenses. Oh, I bet that's the camera mode, guys. A mark on your map where I think I lost them. Okay, cool. Uh, it's getting late. We'll go ahead and rest. And then we'll go do some more stuff. <gasps> I need to sell these fish. Crap. We have enough for the new hull. Here we go. Take a good look at the amount of uh, spaces we have. Purchase. Boom. Achievement. Tier four, tier four hull upgrade. Achieved. Four more cargo spaces here. Uh, two more rod spaces. Hey, that helps. Uh, we might be able to hold all the rods and reels. Also hold engines. Ooh, that would be good. We just need two pieces of wood and then four uh, scrap for that. I actually have some scrap left over. A couple more light spaces as well. Let's see what I've got in the storage. One. One, one, one stinking piece. That's all I got. That's all right. Floating dock. Uh, we'll go with the... These first, I think. This takes the most. Takes four of those, three cloth, and then five wood. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. 600, 350, and 200. That's not too bad, really. All right, let's go again. So I'm back over at Gill Cliffs. There's some rocks right here I want to blow up. I want to see if the traveling merchant here has any bombs. She does. Good. Uh, she also has some research parts, too. I don't really have the money for it, but I know I'm going to need research parts. So we're going to go ahead and buy at least one, anyway. All right, research. Uh, engine. This one. There we go. Okay, we got our bomb. Let's go. I want to see if this rare fish, the ore fish, I want to see if it's in here. Uh, oh, also, we got notes I didn't read last time. I said I would. Messages. Uh, we got two new ones, it looks like. So we got Tattered Receipt, Goldsmith and Son, November 27th, Little Morrow. Received the sum of $50.00 in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on a silver mounting. Additional notes. Received a further $3 for custom engraving on the reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow, 23rd of December, for collection. Engraving to be as follows. 4J, my shining star. Okay, then somebody got a necklace made. Uh, and then just a note with no date. It feels like years since I've been warm. Did not expect him to write. Just need to know what he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I've written him a letter. This will be the last one. Okay, well, somebody's upset. That's never good. You don't like making people upset. Fish down there. Let's go see... There is something in there. I don't know what it is. Pile of loose debris. Use explosive. Boom. Oh, don't, don't. Oh my god. Why? What is this? Oh, it's scrap. We could just buy this, I guess. But saves money. I'll take it. If we can back out of here carefully. Okay, no dice on anything good there. We're going to head on over into Gale Cliffs and see if we can catch this oarfish. And I don't know what it looks like or where to catch it. Oh my god, a tornado pop up out of nowhere. 
Then we got this crazy fish in here that's gonna try to kill us, I'm sure. See which way it's going. Going the other way. We have time. Alright. See what this is. I don't think this is it. We'll try to catch one though. The blackmouth salmon. There's something behind the waterfall. Oh my god, there's something behind the waterfall. What is this thing? Oh, we need the Avasol. No good. Alright, well there's a chest over here though. We need the Avasol to catch that guy. Avasail, Avasol, rotten chest at the top of a pile of rubble. The back of the cave. Look inside. Yes, look inside. Oh, hey. I'm never going to hesitate to pick those up. Big bag of doubloons. Nice. The balloons are never turned down, in my opinion. There is something behind the waterfall. That is cool. Okay, so we caught one of those. The Shades of Gale, Cl Gale Cliffs. Right, is that what it said? No, no, not that. Pursuits. Or fish. I think it was the, the Shades of Gale Cliffs. Now, I don't know where that is exactly. There's something we're going to need. No matter what it is, we need it. Another research part. That much closer to getting that engine. I don't know how much it's going to cost us, but... Also, I guess we could put some stuff in the uh, in the thing here. Let's see. Uh, shipyard. No, not shipyard. This one. Loading dock. Uh, what did we say? The cargo spaces? We put something somewhere. Yeah, this one. Okay. Oh, I, I know I could move stuff from here. How did I do it? That's a nice upgrade, too. Alright, let's just go drag all this over. I can't figure out how to drag it. Okay, floating dock. Start here. Oh, that put it back. I don't want to do that. I want to put it in here. Cloth. More pieces of wood there. Okay. We don't need good metal for that at all. Or that. Or that for that matter. We're done with all the metal work? Okay. Well, that's good. I guess I could sell these. Maybe. I don't know if I can sell those or not. Can I? Uh, sell. I can. Okay. Cool. I don't need them. I might as well sell them. See if we can buy another bomb. Those are always good to keep around. And a research part. Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, I forgot I had a piece of cloth in here. But I need a piece of wood. Need cloth here. We do. Okay, there we go. Uh, pretty much covers it. We got this research part we can use. Oh, we got a fish to sell. Forgot about it too. There we go. Oh, the engine's ours. New engine available. Let's go to the shipyard. Engines. 67 knots. Six, six hundred and seventy-five dollars. How much can we sell this one for? Two seventy-five. And then we just uninstall that one. We can't sell the peculiar engine, uh, but we might have to sell it. Or we could turn it sideways, maybe. But we could turn it sideways. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we could do that. We could turn it sideways. All right, the whole bottom of this boat better end up as engines. I want two of these bad boys. I don't think we're gonna get there though. All right, we're headed over to the narrow stretch here, where we gotta find the photographer's lenses so we can get our camera because the camera updates a thing I was trying to figure it out in the last episode couldn't get it though ah right here this is not that narrow but I guess if you're running from something right no that was not it I think it's these yeah a collection of cases of washed up on the shore some have already split open and their contents uh, and lost their contents to the waves look for valuables photography equipment sweet put that right there all right, back to the photographer. A lot of running around today. Where was the photographer? Right there? It was right there. Found the photographer again. All right, photographer. You have the lenses. 
Oh, I do hope they not have not been damaged by this seawater. Photography equipment removed from inventory. She takes a case from you and inspects each lens carefully. They seem mostly unharmed. Nothing that seems... Nothing that some careful polishing can't remedy, at, at least. As promised, you should take my spare camera. The lens is nothing special, but it should allow you to capture some good shots. If you wanted some advice on locating wildlife to photograph, just say the word. Uh, yeah, large fish. I suspect you know more knowledge about a particular area than I am. There are a few, there are a few shark species around, most notably the huge whale shark. They tend to prefer warmer waters around the Stellar Basin. They're completely harmless, and I'm sure, as I'm sure you know, but do be careful around them. You wouldn't want propellers causing any, any harm, no doubt. The mammals. While still relatively scarce, I believe a few... I believe, I believe a few cetaceans that will... I believe a few cetaceans? Is that how that's said? I don't know. That whales and such can be found in deeper waters around here. Okay. Hmm. Citations? Cite, cite, that's not citations. I don't know. You might be lucky enough to spot the bottle bottlenose dolphin or killer whales. They've been also known to swim alongside boats. Uh, I have seen the dolphins, yes. Uh, as for the larger whales, I've heard humpbacks and sperm whales. Even the odd blue whale have been sighted in the area. Doesn't surprise me to hear that the numbers have dwindled with that... With uh, what with Ingvell's whaling endeavors? Hopefully their populations will recover mm -hmm. in time. Indeed. Anything else? Yeah, tell me about the birds. Mm -hmm. What birds? You'll hear quite a variety of bird songs from the islands. I suspect you're all too, uh, they're all too small to spot from your boat. There should be a few larger species, gulls and ravens, loitering around the more active docks looking for mm -hmm. morsels of food. The ruins in Devil's Spine have a few breeding, host a few breeding pairs of seahawks. You're bound to hear them calling to each other. Mm. It can be quite elusive. I never even knew that about whales. I mean, uh, birds. I'm glad you asked. We're asking about reptiles. Not many consider reptiles when they think of the ocean. Loggerhead turtles are common sight in the temperate waters around the Moros and Gale Cliffs. Though they can be hard to spot in the water. When it comes to larger reptiles, they don't get any bigger than the saltwater crocodiles. The mangroves, a twisted strand. Okay, that's scary. Uh, the perfect environment mm -hmm. for him. It really is. That's it. Thanks. Okay, so how do we use photo mode now? Photo mode? Vanish? Photo mode. Ah, camera. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. They redock and sleep. Photo mode. Oh, we can move while in photo mode. That's... Oh, no, we can't. Okay, there we go. Raise and lower. We can get close. Oh my goodness. Photo mode is so good. Photo mode's nice. Alright, so there we go. F, take photo. Toggle the overlay. Sweet. Yeah, photo mode's cool. I like it. Um, we have a goblet. I think I want to head back over to Little Morrow, and we're going to try to sell some of this junk in the next episode. That's going to do it for today, though. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, as always. We're going to catch this swordfish on the way in, because money. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm glad we found the photographer, and we can uh, take screenshots, or pictures. Take take photo, take photo. Crap, I did not mean to go in photo mode. Uh, take photos now. So I'm glad we got a photo mode. Great addition to the game. Thanks, devs. Much appreciated for that. We'll catch you guys next time. Later, folks.